We've all had the frustration of creating a drop-down list, and over time, as your list grows, the new items don't appear in your drop-down list. So we think, why not make the list area a bit bigger in your data validation? But this method leads to lots of white space as there are blank items. How can we get around this? Here's how you do it. We go to Data, then Data Validation, and select Data Validation again. Here, you'll select List and enter this formula. The offset function creates a dynamic range starting from cell D3 with no row or column offset and only one column in the range. The counter function ensures the range automatically adjusts to exclude any blank cells, keeping the drop-down list updated. Once that's done, click OK, and you'll see the list is still there. If you add a new fruit, let's say, add two of them, you'll see that the list gets updated accordingly. The practice file is available in the description. Like and follow for daily tips.